In this video, I'm going to show you how to use audio buses in Harrison Mixbus 32C and when to use them. So this is a fairly big session with drums, some different cymbal roll stuff going on, some loops, a single bass guitar track, which is not too bad, some synth parts, a lot of electric guitars, a vocal and background vocals. So normal form of operation when using Harrison Mixbus is to take some tracks and let's actually go over to our mix review here we can see we have our mix buses over here on the right and then if i shift and b it's going to hide those you can see all the other tracks so usually what happens is if you want to take some synth tracks you can send those to the strings so for instance if you want to take four of these synth tracks here and send those to its own bus we can totally do that by just selecting the strings bus. That's just the default bus that I have because I never know if I'm going to be mixing a song with pianos or strings or in this case synths, whatever. And I can rename that synths if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep it strings for now because I do have a keys bus that I'm sending the Rhodes keyboard to. So that way these are being sent to separate buses. And those synth tracks are going to show up on these strings bus right here. If I hit spill, you can see the four synth tracks right here. And I can go in and further process these. And I can, for instance, I can change some EQ stuff. And if I wanted to, I could hold down shift, move the EQ over. And now this EQ is the same as that EQ. Because in this case, I only have four synth tracks and I'm sending it to its own mix bus on these strings. And from there, I can always add another EQ. Let's go to Harrison Consoles and let's just go to Legacy Q. And I can go in and process four tracks all at once through its own mix bus. And that's perfectly fine. All right, sometimes you have situations where you have multiple guitar tracks and let's say you had one guitar cab that had two different microphones on it and you want to treat them as one audio source. This is a situation where I would actually use audio buses instead of just a plain mix bus because when you have so many guitar tracks that you have to process individually, there really isn't enough mix buses to handle all that processing. Let's say we want to go to tracks 21 and 22, which is right here. And it is already grouped, which is fine because when I group these together, one fader move will change the faders at the same time just by moving one of the faders. So grouping tracks is a very easy way to control overall volumes. And like before, you can always copy and paste the EQ over to make sure they're both EQ'd how you want them. And then you can send that to its own mix bus. But in this case, since we only have one guitar mix bus, but multiple electric guitar tracks, then I'm going to go ahead and set up some audio buses so we can process these tracks separately. And then from there, send it to whichever mix bus that we want. All right, so I'm going to choose... The first two here, let's just go ahead and listen to what we have. They come in on the chorus. All right, and that sounds really, really good. So I'm going to go up to track, add track bus or VCA, and I'm going to select audio buses. This is going to be E guitar one, and I'm going to go ahead and make it stereo. And we're not going to send this to a group. And we're just going to go ahead and create one for now. Okay, now position is going to be before selection. <laughs> and actually put it after the selection I wanted. So, let's just move this up here by holding down command and up arrow. And there you go. So, one way to add these tracks to the audio bus is to click on a track right click and then new audio send we're going to say e guitar one now if we hold down shift and click on the send it'll bring it up to zero all right and then if i want to send the other track i have to click on the other track 
right click again, E guitar one, shift, infinity to negative zero. So that is the long way of doing it. And another way we can do it is like this. If I go back to my mix review and you can see my audio bus is right here. And I have a sand on both electric guitar tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these real fast. I'm gonna show you another way of doing it. All right, so I'm gonna still right click and add the E guitar one, shift, and it's gonna bring it up to zero. And now if I simply drag and drop this to the other track, it's now gonna send both of these tracks to the audio bus. So now let's unmute that and let's just solo the guitar one. I can still bring down the level here. I can still mute them. I can do whatever I want. And it's still gonna pass on here. Now another thing that I want to do is go to the sins. And I'm gonna take this out of the guitar and also out of the master. And now I'm gonna send the audio bus, electric guitar one, to the guitar. And notice it's also sent to the master as well. So I'm gonna hold down command, hit the guitar mix bus, and it's gonna simultaneously take it out of the master bus and send it to the guitar bus. And the other option that we have up here is the show send. So if we click on that, we can see all the tracks that's being sent to this bus. So let's go ahead and play and then we can adjust levels over here as well. So there's just a right. There's just a left. We can still pan them whichever way we want. Now the guitar performance itself sounds like two different guitars played at separate times. So I wanna keep them panned pretty far apart so I can hear the nuances of what they're doing. And we can go ahead and do the show sins again and it'll bring us back to our mixer view. All right. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about audio buses and to further set these up in your session, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. But in the meantime, I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.